Hi everyone, for our video today, we will be talking about new products from Lisa Aldridge. If you're a Lisa Aldridge fan, you would have known that she released new products yet again this past few weeks. So for our video today, we will be concentrating talking about her enhancing tints and two shades from her new lip liners, which is called the Sculpt and Shade Lip Liners. So as I've said in my previous video, which was a haul video, I have already used this for work and actually enjoyed this. So we'll talk about this more in detail as we like, you know, go along and as I start to apply this on my lips okay so yeah so basically we will be um, applying this product on my face and we'll try to see how well it will work for me and hopefully this video will prove useful and insightful so at this point of the video I already have all of my skincare down so I have like you know used a well aside from the cleanser I have used my toners which is like you know a mandelic acid toner and a salicylic acid toner I have also some vitamin C on I also have some sunscreen and eye cream so we'll try to see how well these enhancing tints from Lisa will actually like you know layer on top of all those products so if you want to know all the skincare products that I use today everything is listed down on the description box okay all right and also one other thing I am shooting under natural light today so we'll try to see how well this looks um, when we don't have any artificial light on because seriously I actually don't like shooting under artificial light because I just find the lighting just to be way too strong and it kind of like alters like you know the true essence of like you know the products that you're using but anyway enough of that so so this is Lisa's enhancing tint. As you guys can see with the packaging, it comes in a white plastic bottle. It's in an oval shape. And at the back, we have this flat surface here, which I actually appreciate because this enables you to hold the packaging very, very securely. Because as we all know, if you have packaging that is like in circular shape, they tend to slip off. From your hand very easily so at least with this you can rip the packaging and you can just like you know really tap the packaging on the back of your hand or on your palette without the uh, packaging actually flying out of your hands now the package design here is very similar to her foundation design bottle and at least we have a very cohesive design going on so that's what i love about like you know the packaging of lisa eldridge is that there's a uh, like you know a uniformity with her packaging design there's also some similarity and difference but as a whole when you look at it um it's a very distinct lisa aldrich brand and i love it i love it super love it if i was still in school because i actually have a bachelor's degree in fine arts with a major in advertising arts i would have studied her packaging design but anyway i digress okay so now it's time for us to try this so according to the um instructions here at the back of the bottle you will really need to shake this okay now by the way i actually bought two shades of lisa's enhancing tint so this is t5 and t9 both of these actually have olive undertones in them and i'm actually quite excited because you know i have olive undertones but also one thing that i do have to say by the way um, i'm a little bit darker these days because i was under the sun like you know a few weeks ago when i went to my home in the province and i went swimming and i also got a bit sunburned when i was in uh, tokyo because the sun was just like you know really shining so bright so i have some color right now and let's just try to see and I'm really hoping that these will actually like you know, work well with me and I'm actually glad that I got two shades so we'll see what's the difference between T5 and T9 anywho all right so this is T5 and I'm just gonna pour T5 here at the back of my hand oh very nice consistency so this is T5 look how liquid it is so let me just flatten that a bit and I have T9 now, and I'm just going to apply that right beside T5. All right, so I can clearly see now distinctively that T5 is lighter than T9. And also the olive undertones in T9 is actually more uh, pronounced than the one in T5. So um, it's actually very, very interesting. So I'm actually hoping that they will match me. But let's like, you know, just go with the flow and like, you know, see how well they will actually work with me. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to get... Uh, hint of the T9 first with this brush and I'm going to apply it all over. That kind of like just really disappeared from my skin. Okay, so it's very skin-like, it's very thin, it's also very easy to apply and to blend out. Now, I'm sure you can use your fingers with this, 
but I just prefer to actually use a brush because the packaging is white and if I use my fingers and I pick up the bottle again it's just going to make the bottle dirty so but then again it's very easy to clean the white bottle but like you know you do you and okay whatever works for you should be great all right so I'm just lightly brushing the enhancing tint all over my skin and it's blending out very nicely and I'm still having this very nice skin-like quality that I'm actually looking for. Okay, my first reaction that I am actually liking with this enhancing tint is that I don't get any ashy tones coming out from my skin. Because usually when I use like, you know, a BB cream or a CC cream, or like you know those enhancing tints some of them have very high SPF content in it and they actually use like a lot of mineral SPF um, ingredients um, they instantly give my skin this very um, ashy color even if you still see that you know the golden tones in those products or like you know even if it's quite neutral but because of the mineral content and the high SPF rating on those instantly it makes my skin look ashy and that's why I don't use them um, but with this one, look at that. Like, you know, when I'm just like, you know, really running the brush here on my skin, it's skin color true, and it's actually blending out quite nicely. And mind you, again, I'm shooting under natural light, and this is how it looks like. Fantastic. Look how beautiful that is. Very, very beautiful. Look at that. And just that's just like a very thin layer on. Okay, so let me apply a little bit of that here in my under eye area, here to my nose. And I can actually already see that it that the enhancing tint has like you know really tamed down my redness here in my nose area and here in my cheeks. It's making everything look very nice and bright and even. And that's the thing that I like when I'm doing foundations or like you know skin um, products. Everything should look even because that's like an indication that you actually have a healthy skin. Wow. I was not expecting this at all. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you guys approve? I actually approve. Look at that. And mind you, it's actually very humid right now uh, as I'm doing this video because, uh, like, you know, summer has um, arrived in my country and it doesn't feel heavy. That's one thing that I actually like about it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the T5 here and this is what I'm going to use here, like, you know, in my under eye area and also here in my like you know t-zone area just so that it's like a highlighter of sorts okay so the t5 is indeed lighter than the t9 so if you have like you no know, fair skin tones with olive undertones i think the t5 is the color that you should um, purchase for yourself but if you have medium skin tones like i do the t9 should be actually good all right so this is how Lisa's enhancing tint looks like on my skin under natural light. What do you guys think? Do you guys approve? I love it. Now, I really love how skin color true this enhancing tint is. Super. I love the fact that it doesn't have a white cast. It doesn't have this ashy, like, you know, um, color peeking through because that's one of the reasons why I don't like using BB creams and CC creams because of the high SPF content and the high mineral content. When I apply it on my skin, instantly I have a white cast. I have an ashiness and I don't like that. But with Lisa's enhancing tint, look how even my skin is which is remarkable look how bright and even like luminous to a certain degree and i just love it amazing i don't know how she was able to achieve this without those ingredients amazing look at that skin color true and i love that like you know i have noticed that the um enhancing tint kind of like adapts into your skin and it kind of works with your undertone so i think that's one thing that you should look into when you are interested in purchasing lisa's enhancing tint you have to know your undertone because that is how this product will actually work for you look at that and i can see that the product is actually not sinking into my pores it's like you know sitting very well onto my skin and i believe that like you know my skincare that i applied earlier is actually like you know not interacting uh, badly with um, this product and the reason why i'm saying that is because like you know 
as I've said earlier, I have salicylic acid in my skincare and salicylic acid here. So I think they're really working well together because after all, salicylic acid is a hero ingredient that you should have in your skincare routine or even like, you know, in your products. It doesn't matter if you have oily skin or dry skin because salicylic acid really helps to clarify your skin. And it also ensures that all of the active ingredients that you have in your skincare or makeup actually like, you know, sinks into your pores and really like, you know, works well in ensuring that your skin gets all the like you know the vitamins and the effect that those like you know active ingredients like um, is supposed to give into your skin and also one other thing because I have oily skin salicylic acid really helps in regulating my like you know oil production so that's why I'm very very happy that this actually has salicylic acid in it so if you want to know more about all of the ingredients that is inside this um, product of Lisa please go to her website or check out her video I'm gonna put a link down in the description box so you can go and check it out for yourself okay all right so let's play around some more with makeup so what I'm gonna do is we will apply some bronzer because I have some tan going on so let's see how well like you know I can layer products on top of this enhancing tint from Lisa and I'm just going to get this stippling brush pick up a little bit of product and I'm just gonna apply it all over look at that look how well this bronzer is already like you know blending well into the enhancing tint and it's also helping to add like nice warmth into my skin and just mimicking like you know the little tan that I have on okay that actually works very very well and maybe just out of curiosity let's add some blush or so this is um new to me so this is the nars afterglow and this is in the color wonderlust so i actually showed this to you guys in my previous video and i'm just gonna apply a hint of this on top of my cheeks just to add a hint of color and i think this will work well together because this afterglow it doesn't have so much pigments in it but it's just like you know light enough to actually give like you know some dimension of color into the cheeks and again it's actually working quite nicely in tandem with the bronzer and Lisa's enhancing tint. In case I have a nice hint of color going on. Okay, next I'm gonna get T5. I'm gonna add a little bit of that here at the back of my hand. And this is what I'm gonna use, like, you know, as a concealer of sorts. Just going to add more layer. And I'm just gonna buff that out and blend that into the blush. I'm actually so amazed on how well you're actually able to layer the enhancing tint from Nisa and it's actually not causing like you know, additional texture into the skin and again it's still blending quite nicely together all right look at that so that's how it all looks like with some bronzer on and a hint of blush very pretty I like that you still have that very nice skin like quality which I actually love. Again, very seamless kind of like, you know, blendability with products. I love it. Okay, so just out of curiosity, I'm just gonna apply a hint of powder in my under eye area. So I have some translucent powder here from um, Laura Mercier. And with a brush, I'm gonna just pick that up and I'm just gonna tap it here. Mm. Powder also sits well on top of it. But then again, I'm just using a very light layer. So if you have oily skin like I do, this is just a great idea just to help ensure like, you know, the product stays on longer. And then I'm just gonna leave the rest of my face powder free because I like the very nice, like, you know, luminosity going on that I see with this enhancing tint from Lisa. Mm, I'm very, very happy, very, very happy on how this actually progressed with us today okay all right so now it's time to move forward and we will try using the sculpt and shade lip pencils now i actually love the concept behind lisa sculpt and shade lip pencils like super um because as we all know a lot of people love to sculpt and shade their lips and usually most of the lip liners that we have in the market is always you know connected to a lip color and although we have a lot of nudes like you know in the market we have a lot of browns. sometimes like you know the color is just a little bit off 
and like you know especially with someone like me who's working for makeup for film and tv um like you know you're all i'm always told like you know try to make her lips look like you know very natural not too much color not too much like a rosiness not too much redness so i'm always like you know constantly trying to blend and mix colors together and i find like with this especially when i use this for work recently it was very very easy and i'm kicking myself why i only have two shades anywho so the shades that i have here i have zero n and one n now after i have used this i have realized that these two shades are not like you know the lip color for me so for sure after this video i'm gonna purchase more colors from lisa but anywho let's just try this on my lips so i'm going to start and use the shade one n here and i'm just going to apply this like you know all over my lip as a lip liner so i'm gonna keep quiet now so as you guys can see it's actually very easy to apply the color the product glides on effortlessly on the lips and you have instant color payoff which is actually amazing look at that now i can actually already feel the product setting on my lips at the moment and it's not an uncomfortable sensation like you know because i'm sure you know what i mean when there are some products out there that you can actually like you know, feel your lips like you're drying out instantly like in one but with this one it doesn't feel that way which is actually great because it gives you enough play time to adjust when you're applying like you know the lip liner you know, if you just want to correct certain parts of the lips at least like you know you don't have to rush all right so this is how one end looks like on my lips what do you guys think look at that the color is very even and i'm actually able to say that this lip pencil was actually able to cover up like you know the dark tones of my lips because if you notice earlier i have a darker color in the outer edges of my lips and it's lighter in the inner portions of my lips so right now what i have is a very nice even color very well balanced and it's not even like you know very obvious so if you're looking for a lip pencil product that is like you know lip color true to your lips then this is it and then if you have like you know any lip balms or like you know even lip glosses or lipsticks especially if you like using a lot of nudes um on a daily basis these um scalp and shade lip pencils from lisa is actually a nice idea to have and now that i've actually played around with them i actually want to have these in creamy lipstick formula because i think they will just like you know be a a nice addition into the lipstick world if you know what i mean now um anyway so before we continue i have zero n here now zero n is just way too neutral for me look at that so it's a little bit um grayish and when i apply it on my lips it will actually not work for me because it's just going to it's too cool if you know what i mean so it's gonna make me look like my lips are a little bit dead so if you have like you know, a lighter uh lip color than i do uh, zero n is a good idea but for me it really doesn't work so let me just blend it out but if you like a 90s lip like you know a very grungy lip this is a nice color to actually use for you can i blend it out okay now also one thing i do have to say i don't feel that the lip liner is actually drying my lips because some long wearing formulas actually they can really take a toll when you're using them on your lips very very drying okay so now i have some lip balm here and i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that on top of my lips just so that you can see that like you know even with just some lip balm and lisa's cup and shade lip pencil you can actually dress up your lip without making it obvious look at that very nice everything looks very nice and natural like you know just subtly enhanced and you know i love it super and truthfully like you know even if i'm a makeup artist if there's um a certain look that puts food on my table it's actually the no makeup makeup look and i love having products that actually help me put food on my table and that's why i love using lisa eldridge's products all right so we have now come to the end of my vlog for today i hope that you guys enjoyed me showing you how i got to know lisa's new products namely her enhancing tint and her scalp and shade lip liner so if you have any more questions how i use these or any other products that i use today please let me know down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it all right okay so i'm gonna let you guys go now thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye